Welcome to the Morning Star Fund Manager of the Year Awards 2021. I'm Holly Black. With me is Patrick Thompson. He's CEO of EMEA at JP Morgan. Hello. Good morning. Morning, Holly. And you have won Best Fund Firm of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. We're absolutely delighted and honoured to get the award. And it really means a lot to us because it's a huge collective team effort. So we're really thrilled. Yeah, what does it mean to get Best Fund Firm? It's quite the accolade. It is. Um, well, it's a reflection, I think, of you know a couple of things. Our incredible investment teams. We've got world-class investors here. And um, the work that they've done through this crisis has been extraordinary. We've also got some of the best client teams in the industry um, who really understand clients' needs, understand what they want and have managed to serve them, particularly through such a difficult time. Um, so it's a huge collective effort um, and we really are thrilled to, to win the award. So um, we're absolutely delighted. So what do you think makes a successful fund firm? So I think um, there are a couple of things. I mean, you've got to have world-class investment teams. So investment performance is, you know, um, the, the, the true north of what we do for our clients. But I think also you've got to have a really a fiduciary culture. And I think it's really important to have a culture that puts your clients' interests first and that really people understand how to behave with clients' money. Because uh, managing money on behalf of clients is such a huge honour and privilege. So we know investment returns and investing are important, but there are some other themes coming through, particularly over the last 18 months, I think. What does JP Morgan think about diversity and inclusion? So it's a personal priority of mine as CEO here. Um, and, you know, it, it seems to us that, um, you know, diverse and inclusive teams generate just better outcomes. So it's better for our clients, better for our stakeholders, better for the communities that we work and, and live in. So it's something of a real mission for us here. And we, our aim is to be the most diverse and inclusive manager, asset manager in the world. Um, we've made some great progress, but there's a lot more to do. So we track it very closely. But it's a, it's a huge priority, not only for me, but for the firm uh, overall. And what about ESG? Interest is obviously picking in, up in that area. How are you thinking about that? Yeah, so it's, a, again, a huge priority for us. Um, we've managed to integrate almost all of our strategies have, have ESG factors now integrated into them where they're material. Um, we think that clients, it's not only clients who want us to really evaluate strategies with ESG factors, but also it's the right thing to do now um, because more and more of the industry is you know, wanting to lend its hand in dealing with climate change. So it's a priority for us as a company. Um, and we're delighted to be positioned so strongly with all of the resources that we have to be able to deliver a really meaningful set of products and services to clients. Well, Patrick, congratulations again. Thank you very much. And thanks for joining us.